Hello, welcome to another episode of the Magic Arena Run. It's the weekend, but more precisely, it's the last weekend of closed beta. Few more, in a few more days, closed beta is gone. Long live closed beta. Open beta will be coming will be coming soon. Actually, just a few days difference. So, it's kind of ironic. The first the first um beta wipe I experienced, I spent I spent my gems on competitive um, competitive draft. It was Dominaria. This time I'm spending it on competitive draft, and lo and behold, it's Dominaria again. But can't complain about it. It's, it. Well, I might complain that Dominaria is not the strongest that I've drafted, but it's still worth a shot. Let's give. Let, let's see how we do. So, let's cash in those gems. Yes, I want to purchase it because I won't. I won't have most of these again. And you know what? I might actually just do a few of these back to back, Pro probably just to have something to save over the weekend. Actually, save over the week I'm, while I still figure out what I'm gonna do next. Under normal circumstances, I'd probably just take the Goblin Barrage or the Blink of an Eye because those are basic remo That's basic removal. But let's live large. And we still got and we got the Barrage second pick again, so that's not not too shabby. So we're looking for. We're prim primarily looking for red and green, hoping to splash black, or black and green, hoping to splash red. So the key to this one is we're looking for s either cards that um, Howling Golem is quite decent. That's a one possible pick. Another, or we can look for things that um, are very flexible and don't have double cut and, do and don't give us a double colored kicker. It's a shame that um, blue looks very open. At least we're out of the way in that one. So between these two, we need to draw cards. I'm gonna take the Howling Golem. So final parting's no Whisper is okay. Broken Bond is plus is possible. We do need to have an artifact or enchantment to target. And it only puts a land card from our hand, so we need to actually have the right one. So it's not that great. I'll just take Whisper. Because worst case scenario, you can just ditch this and just um, try to buy him back, I guess. Warcry Phoenix, so it looks like we're headed towards... No. This is removal 2. We do have two legendary creatures so far. I don't know if we're going to get enough creatures to make this work. Safest pick is generally Baylot Gorger. We're probably going to get the Compass back. So between... It's a little green. I haven't seen much green, so I don't know if I should commit to this or not. I might just take the Ancient Animus, cause it's an it's an instant fight, and we might get the plus one plus one counter. Let's get the creatures first. And okay, Crows and Druids and something else we could splash into it. I probably should just take Shield of the Realm. This one is really <clears throat> because in practice this is really annoying to deal with, so might as well have it. Okay, we got our Ancient Animus back. We could just take this. We could also take Drudge Sentinel. Also another way to gum up the board. It's no, re it's not a reassembling skeleton though. Power Stone Shard. No, just take the Animus. Chainer's Torment. Okay, Chainer's Torment. Lanor Scout. At least this guy's a creature as opposed to Broken Bond. So I might, I might opt to take this one. I'm kind of hit or miss in Chainer's Torment. Especially when you know you're going to lose half your life. I'm not a fan of Iris too. I'll just take So I'm gonna try to prioritize green if I can. Let's see. The Guardians is probably better. Cause that Well, this one's on color and it's just a basic tree two for three mana. It's not too, not nothing to be excited about. Yeah, I'll just take the Guardians. It's pro probably the more flexible one. I could take the fire elemental, but I'm not happy to run it. Let's yeah, sure, just run the Evangel sideboard. Drudge Sentinel. Yeah, let's leave it there. But I probably want to sideboard it. Soul Salvage sideboard. Blessing of Bells and Lock. Let's just leave it there. Tishar's not something I'm excited about. I will take the Wizard's Lightning. It's still removal. 
Eviscerate is probably better in the long run. Yeah, let's just take the Eviscerate. Isolate the chapel. Well, I'm not in a rush to collect these lands anymore. So I could just take another Goblin Barrage. We can note we can sacrifice artifacts to it, so that's something we can think prioritize over. So we'll just take the barrage again. Eldest Reborn definitely taking that. That's re well. Let's think about it. Eldest Reborn or Fiery Intervention. This one gives us more synergy over time. Yeah, let's just take the Eldest Reborn. We can sp take sp slime foot the stowaway. So we're really we're really a mess of colors right now. It's kind of intentional that we're that we're, we're doing we're really messing this up on purpose. So let's just take the goblin, Cross and Druid or Baylot Gorger number two. Let's just take the gourd. Fungal infection is serviceable. You do get the one one green sapling regardless of what happens to the opponent's creature. It's pri but we kind of want to prioritize our three to four drop slots. Torn Elemental, really nice top end. Probably should start should start taking these shards if I knew all of these were gonna come around. Yeah, let's just take that elemental. Haphazard bombardment. I'll take it. I don't Hmm. Am I willing to take the power stone shards? These are mana rocks. They will help us accelerate. And right now, if even if it doesn't accelerate us into Darigaz, it might accelerate us into Torn Elemental. And I don't really want Haphazard. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the sideboard. Let's see how many we get over time. Arbor Armament or Croson Druid or Corrosive Ooze. I'll take the Druid. We may need to buy time that way. Kilden War Caller. We don't have any Sagas. Sorceress one. Do we have any wizards? Not really. Actually, not at all. I might just. T oh yeah, we do have sideboard tech now, so I'm taking the radiating lightning. I'm a time wall. Yeah, sure. Sideboard. Wait. Caval Evangel. Let's just take another. No. Let's just take the wall. At least we could cast it regardless of what we have. Yeah, let's take the rare. Our mana is gonna be such a mess with this one, so don't, I'm not gonna expect. I'm not expecting great things of it so far. Yet another. Well, I'm okay. Kind of draw the line at this one. I'm not gonna run that guy. I will take the fiery intervention. Oh wait. I already have a shield, so I don't need to the second one. I need the skittering surveyor. Even if it puts it in the hand, it's still something. And I will also take Grand Warlord Rada. That's another way to accelerate. Note, we have Goblin Barrage, Goblin Barrage, Eldest Reborn, Eviscerate. I'm not... We need... Yeah, yeah we need more of these. I also have Ancient Animus too. Ooh, do I want to splash blue? Normally, this is the best card, but no. I'll just take the Grow from the Ashes. Now, we need to do a creature check, but I probably will just take Knight of Malice. It's a decent two drop. Cross and drew it again. Sure, why not? And I think our four drop slot is one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's a bit clogged up. We'll just take another tree drop. Another grow from the ashes. We're probably not gonna run all of them. I'm just gonna see how it goes. Vicious offering on the sideboard. We might have too much of everything at this point. Run a mox, likewise. We'll need to figure out what we're gonna cut over time. I could take the Cab Cabal Paladin because we do have plenty of triggers. But I guess that's it. Um, let's see. We have th things we can splash into. So, yeah, n the fire, the power. S it, I kind of drafted into Power Stone Shards way too late, so that one's not an option. So let's so let's see what we're left here. Actually, not what we're left. How we're gonna form it up? Hmm. 
Interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna... I need okay, so I need to send a bit of an e I need to send an email, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take a quick pause for a second. We're going to take a quick break. I'm, it'll give me some time to think over what to do, and we'll see how we're going to work this out. So so don't go away. I'll be right back in a second. Okay, and I'm back. So let's go back to this. Let's go back to our screen. Let's take a look at what we need to do. So first off, creature count. We're a little. We can afford to sub substitute some of these creatures with non-creatures. So, and, okay, probably need to drop this blessing. I'll probably just add up more removal. Actually, we need to make four cuts, so not, so that one's not too sure. Probably just cut two creatures and two non-creatures. So let's take a look at that one. Give me a second, I'll be right back. So, also we need to check our colors. We're red is basically the splash here. So, fire elemental is gonna go. I could put the feral abomination in actually. Yeah, that makes more sense. So we have a real, quite a bit of a messy curve. So, four drop. Wait. So one drops, two drops, three drops, four drops, five drops. No, that doesn't look right. No, that's our six drops. Six plus. Okay. So, what are the things we need to cut? I might just cut the shield. Because our goal is just to accelerate to bigger stuff, not to keep our stuff alive. Let's see. We need to... We need to set it in a way that uh, we're not... Our mana is not too mess, messy. So Knight of Malice is okay. Could cut the Drudge Sentinel. Let's see our creature count. Yeah, I'll cut the Drudge Sentinel. Let's cut two spells if we can. Fortunately, they're all kind of removal or land acceleration. Ancient Animus might be the weaker one over Vicious Offering. I'll cut the Ancient Animus for now. We could just side it in if we need to. Bloodstone go Golem kind of stays, I guess. So we need to make one more cut. Yeah, our mana is really good. It's not the greatest in the world. It's a good thing we have ways to kind of accelerate and fix it a bit. We could, we could lighten the load by just cutting the Guardians of Koilos, but it is a guaranteed playable 5 drop. The 6 drop is not so guaranteed. Howling Golems on easy cut. Cabal Paladins also... Cabal Paladin is also an easy cut. Let's see how many triggers we could get. So no, we don't have any sagas, but we do have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we do have a saga. Six, seven, eight. We have eight triggers. If we see four of them, that's eight. If we see just half of them, that's eight damage. So I guess we're not cutting the Cabal Paladin. We might just cut the Howling Golem instead for now. So, our co so we're definitely four heavy. But our removal's kinda here. I might just cut the Guardians and put back I put back the Howling Golem. I guess. Yeah, let's let's lighten the curve a bit. In fact, I could cut the Feral Abomination in favor of. Either the Drudge Sentinel or maybe just the Cabal Evangel. We are we are primarily green black right now, so we could just keep keep the mana simple that way. So there we go. That's our deck. 16, 16 creatures, seven non-creatures. I could just cut one creature and just add an extra land just to be sure, but 
with, between growth from the ashes and the land war scout i think we're okay so this is june june ramp it out and unlike our previous unlike the previous time when i had the deck with ramp this one actually does have some ramp it's also a bit of kicker as well but i don't expect to see it see that relevant okay i kind of wish i had the green two drop but i kind of missed the boat on that one i could actually just cut the cabal evangel altogether but we kind of need creatures on the ground let's let's run it with this let's run it this way if not i still have plenty of gems i can just spend it on another draft so i kind of owe you I kind of owe you guys one retrospective on Amon Ket. I, if you've seen some, you know, we might have caught a glimpse of my zombies deck. I probably will run with that. Splashing another color to, to add another keyword that didn't make sense. Amon Ket's a bit. Ho well, I'm glad it's uh, Amon Ket was more popular. In so let's see. Definitely keeping this one. We just need a third land f for these. I can see an argument for mulliganing. Our opponent goes first, so we do have three turns to draw into that third land. So, and this is competitive. We we're not out. We're not out with just this game. And we got our third land, and we got all our colors. So as I was saying, Amonkhet had um, the mechanics were more memorable. Everybody, everybody played um, embalm and embalm and eternalize to some degree. Everybody played. So definitely. We're gonna play the Crows and Druid first. That's, we need to put a stopgap here. Everybody played those. Everybody played Cycling. So, yeah, that. Every, and people also played Exert. Thanks, Glorybringer. Also, and Crop Crasher. That was a really good Exert card. So, there isn't much to say that's missing. So, that got burned out, but that's fine. I could play Grand Ward or Drada. That just gets some damage in. I could grow from the Well, Eldest Reborn's one mana away. I could just play another Cross and Druid. Let's just play another Cross and Druid. Make it look like everything's a mess here. If we can draw one more. It would that'll be great for Eldest Reborn. At the very least, I'm siphoning off his removal. So I have to block. Show me the combat trick. Probably just vicious offering. There you go. So at least I did not. So I got my own Cabal Evangel. Okay, so. I could play that, but that doesn't mean anything. Opponent's slightly stuck on mana. That's probably gonna change soon. Comes in the battlefield. Oh, it doesn't go into the battlefield tap. So let's tap our mana carefully. Forgot that small tidbit. Definitely getting another green source. Playing Arcabal Abandon. So next turn we can hit the Eldest Reborn. So, it's already down several cards. We're down quite a bit of life, but we're not out yet. Let's hope this is not too aggressive. If it's quite aggressive, okay, and he's still and he's kind of stalled out. So I could just play Baylot Gorger. <laughs> so the onus is on our opponent to answer stuff now. He's really digging for that for Oh, this guy's removal heavy. So one, two, three, four removal spells? Wow. So at that rate, yeah, we really need to We need to take out one of his cards now. So that we need one more land so we can both play Goblin Barrage and draw and play down Knight of Malice because our life is way too low. Okay. 
Okay, we got just that. Card bargain. So he's gonna try. So he's gonna look at stuff first before he's forced to discard. He just this. Okay, this the soul salvage. I could just play two creatures just to be safe. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, two creatures. Ignore the haste. Next turn we can play Darigas, but I still need to increase Acolyte. There you go. That's a nice hold back. So let's get back. Ooh, we have a trick here. We'll get back to Cross and Druid. It's not a cast, so we didn't get to bump it. Yeah, I should have just gotten the ba Bailot Warger there. But we can now hit this guy. So if I attack one, two, three, you know, that's I still don't get enough mana. is finally hitting his stride. We do have our 7 mana so I can just um, beat with this guy 3 times and hold the board with everything else. Assuming he doesn't have a burn spell. Shame we lost both our crows and druids. <laughs> and the warlord did not have to attack to generate the mana. Oh yeah, whenever one... Basically, a lot of things that you take for granted, you kind of read the truth. Oh, ma basically you make assumptions. And there's a saying about making assumptions. Okay, so there goes Darigas, but he... So he has plenty of good removal. Definitely sending. I'm definitely just sending the knight. <coughs> so, okay. So now, now this is the part where we need to have our removal spell. He has squee as well. Okay. I could send every but wait three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see how he blocks. He's probably gonna block correctly though and just leave the Wind Grace Acolyte alone. He kind of smacks it. Yeah, I should have. Let's go to game two. And uh, just uh, let, yeah, well, let, let him finish it off. So now that we know our opponent is qu quite removal heavy, we have to removal heavy and creature light. So we need creature. So the the wall will actually make oh no it's a four drop no the wall doesn't make sense shield makes sense though because that's gonna be very annoying for our opponent we probably need our early drops too so I'm actually gonna I'm still gonna keep these guys because we're still run g going up there I might not play whisper anymore. Cabal Stronghold doesn't really do anything for us. Probably... Blessing of Bells and Lock does do, does something though, so I'm willing to put that in and drop. I might drop the shield again. Yeah, I'll drop the shield again. He does have damage base, but there are he has some removal that isn't. Run the mock actually might be a fit as well. 
Though it's only when attacking, and he's more likely to attack over us, so we'll keep it this way. Soul Salvage might be a good fit as well. Actually, well, our opponent's also running Soul Salvage as well. So, this is scary as a keep. We do have a 2-drop, but we know our... But we know those get killed easily, and we got nothing to play these. I'm gonna have to mulligan this. So as I was saying, our mana is quite messed up. Three colors without any dual lands is a very scary proposition. That was a very good example of what what you ha what could potentially happen. And this is worse. Gonna mulligan one more, and this is even worse. I'm going to keep the next hand regardless of what happens. Uh, as much as I want that, I need land. So that was really, that was really, really bad. These, if we get another land, we can play our 4 drop. So our, so our opponent took the 10, took, um, took to heart that Dominaria is a bit slower normally. So, and he decided to just play around it and play fast. So we got our drops in time. We also know our opponent is likely to kill kill us soon. Well, let's hope he doesn't have to cast down or to settle the score. His removal is actually quite good also, so that's where we have problems. So far, it doesn't look like that's the case. Let's see what he has. Fungal infection. So yeah, basically it's a it's a two four. It's kind of a two four one, except he gets small, small saplings. So it's not quite there. Yeah, I have to cast this. I can't just wait to draw into another land. So th at least the good news is we have all our colors, but the bad news is we need to have something to do. We're gonna get beaten down really quickly. Okay, let's play the Cabal Paladin. I'm willing to play this guy first because um he's the more he's probably the more disposable one. Especially since I know our opponent's probably gonna throw a burn spell. Okay, so next turn hopefully we can draw into a land and play slime foot. <coughs> Ooh, that's a problem. So he did have high end drops. Well, I did get what I asked for, but I might think it's too little too late. I can't generate I could generate saplings to keep chump blocking the feral abomination. So I'm gonna block this guy. If he has the vicious off. That he didn't have the vicious offering. He might have the wizard's lightning for the window. I see. He probably did. Oh wait, no, he's looking his graveyard. Soul salvage. Okay, so I'm probably not definitely not gonna win the game at this point. I might I could buy some time, I guess. Chump block. Definitely block. Wait, yeah, chump block. Let's not make that mis let's not make that mistake. So I'm gonna take one and I'm gonna gain one. Wait. Yes, I'm gonna gain one back. So not quite profitable, but Well, considering what our opponent has. Yeah, we're in We're not getting out of this anytime soon. Dari Gaz is not gonna save us, but we do but we have to play him anyway. So here's the thing. We have to chump we have to block this guy and we have to block this guy. And he had to settle the score. Wow. So let's throw this right in front. Yeah, now second game was re wasn't really great for us. Probably a case of we probably should run one more land. 
So first trap down the drain, not so well. That one went down the drain quickly. But I, but I guess, I, but, but it's a good way to burn the gems, I guess. So it's no harm, no foul. If any, it's more of a learning experience than not. So probably, I, I might just do another, another one. Actually, I do have money to make do a quick draft. Actually, I have enough money to do both a quick draft and a quick constructed. So the Amon, so my Amon catch video is not, not that damn bone just yet. Right now, what's probably boned is the number of players. Ba basically, with people knowing that um oh these cards are about to get wiped anyway, some of them are like oh server counts are about to be reset. I might I might as well spend all my gems. But for the people that haven't been, s but usually they'd either spend on draft or they would spend to build more car to get more packs. Try to build the deck as close their dream deck as close as it can even for the last days so it's possible i might not yeah that that one's a real one let's let's see if we let's see if we can get another one <coughs> yeah today's been i wouldn't say a really long day but it's been it has it's been a bit of a tiring day Supposed to be a decent rest day, I see. Well, 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 it was decently re restful, I guess. Wasn't so, was, wasn't too stressful. Maybe with the exception of Splatfest. What might be a problem is I'm not getting any. I'm not getting anyone to play against. Is this really it? Are my, are the gems I've spent going to be hanging in limbo forever? Will we ever see a resol resolution for this deck? Let's try one. Oh wait. Oh wait, there you go. It was just a bit delayed. So one difference between this and Hearthstone is Actually no. Hearthstone will tell you it's con will tell you that the, it's connected, but um trying to connect. So the cancel so the ability to cancel will go away. That's probably one thing that should change, but it's hard to say also you don't know how well definitely keeping this so it, you don't know how the ser how the server um p2ps between people yet another fast deck i'm probably gonna lose anyway let's see if we can play as much of our green and black first before showing the red so at least our opponent is not that fast in fact, with all the lands I have now, I could just slime foot into a, into making a token. It depends on what our opponent does. E2 journey mage. Yeah, I'm gonna slime foot into a token. So not so great. We'll probably draw into another land eventually, but we might need to play Skittering Surveyor just to just to get the double green i'm actually happy with this one better the fight with fire hits slime foot than any of our bigger guys and we can just goblin barrage our way out of this it'd be nice if we played this getting surveyor earlier our opponent might not have burned and we could have just sacked it but that seems to be a bit of a waste our opponent also seems to be stalled on mana, but I might be wrong. Nope, he is stalled. So, five mana. I could just eviscerate something, but I'm just gonna get the double green right now. I'll probably eviscerate something next turn. Could even just throw the surveyor in front of the goblin. Opponents unlikely to have removal colors for removal for these colors. Yeah, let's just throw it in front for now. Our opponent probably has something at four to play at four mana. That is our eviscerate target. Um already explored. Well thank goodness we already drew these guys. And we got most of our lands already. Who is he targeting? Yep, targeting us, got rid of 
Got rid of our bailout quarters. Yuck. So I'm just gonna play Eldest Reborn. So we'll take five damage. Next turn I'll play Torn Elemental. The next turn I'll play Darigas. Play Darig. Okay, so thankfully he discarded that one, so he's not buying his spells back. I'll play the Torn Elemental. F Run amok would ruin our day, though. I'm just gonna play the Darigas and hold him back. Let's see if he has to run amok. Yeah, he had to run the mock. So, creature kill was probably better. So, we're going to run this again with probably more low. Yeah, so we have too much top end here. We're going to. That was pretty much the problem of our deck. Problem is, we don't have much of a bottom end to begin with. All of our top ends here. Okay, so. Dredge Skeleton comes in. I guess I could take one grow from the ashes out. Ancient Island must be nice. I'll just take the Whisper out. No, no. I need more creatures. But yeah, Whisper is probably the weakest of the bunch. So, all in all, got too ambitious on the top end. Not enough not enough um stuff on the bottom end so i'm still willing to keep this one because we got all our colors and we do get two pieces of removal we just need to play any okay and our opponent's mulliganing so he's probably shifted to an even okay Play the black first. So as soon as we can answer any of his threats, we're gonna do it just that. At least we got the Drudge Sentinel, so we have something to block gum up the board. Uh, I th I've said the Dominaria has always been my one, of, not one of my best formats for drafting. It's really showing. Oh yeah, speaking of. Speak, speaking of that, sealed is coming. I really want to know what the price point on that one is. They also have um, pre-release packs and whatnot. So I'm probably just gonna play the barrage first because. Oh wait, no, I could just play the be wait combat attack. Let's see if he's willing to trade and force me to spend the mana. Nope. So, I could play the Bailout Gorger. If he spends Fight with Fire on this, I'm perfectly fine. See, but he is look. Had me Journey Mage. He's gonna bounce this one back. It's okay, not too bad. So, we need more mana. This one's. Okay, I played this. I get two mana, but I can't cast Evangel. So just attack with the Drudge Sentinel, I guess. <coughs> See if our opponent's our opponent's not willing to trade. I suspect our opponent has a way to answer this guy. He might have drafted the blue red wizard's deck, but he did have a lot of other stuff. Okay, he's representing run a mock. Cause one, two, three, four, five, six. And that gets me Eldest Reborn. Or or Goblin Barrage and the Evangel, so no blocks. Show me what you got. Bloodstone Goblin. Oh, 
Oh, is he gonna kill this guy? He had to fight with fire. Yep. Okay, so we got our fifth mana. We could just um play Eldritch Reborn, force him to sacrifice something. Yeah, let's let's do let's do that. Let's start setting him back a little bit. I'm willing to throw the Drudge Sentinel away for one of these guys though. Or a burn spell. That's perfectly. F so next turns is gonna be ev eviscerate, goblin barrage, buyback Rada. So there's our eviscerate target. We can also grow from the ashes and get something, but we saw how we saw how good that was. So yeah, let's just actually just wait. One, two, three. That only gets me up to three mana, no. So just goblin barrage the phoenix. At least we know he didn't have the run amok. That no, he did have it. It was just it just got ditched. Let's hope that is not the second run amok or okay, another land. So we're now living off the top. Our opponent has not much. Let's take Grand Warlord Rada. Play another land. So I can five three. Okay, so I'm not gonna kick it because I only need one more mana. Guess I should eviscerate the creature just to be safe. Then watch then watch us our opponent top decks a flyer and we get systematically destroyed. Well it's magic. Things like this happen. Okay, so far our opponent's top So we're not getting systematically destroyed just yet. Okay, you know what? We'll play the Paladin first, since I could just wait for one more mana. Oh, I did have the one more mana. But let's empty the let's empty the board first. <coughs> Basically, we now have lethal, but our, so could our opponent. Chronicler, buying back a burn spell. Yeah, he has to buy... Oh, buy back Oct. So he's looking for something he could use next turn. Well, he didn't find it yet. But he could... That could be it. Nope, he didn't. So... Okay, so our opponent's gonna be on the play. So we're gonna have to be careful. Our opponent has a bunch of... um. Creatures with one toughness, but not that many. A bunch of them are still two toughness. Do I, I want to put the Shield of the Realm in. But I never get to spend the mana based on the games that I've seen happen. So I'm just gonna... I guess I'm gonna keep it as is. Just basically having the extra drop helped. Apologies if my throat seems sounds a bit raspy today. So right now, opponent's definitely gonna go first. It's just a question. Well, our opponent, our opponent had some mana troubles. We're, in, yeah, this is a bit of a shame. We don't have well, but it's still worth a shot. At least we can skittering survey for a land and play the land out. So that's not so that's not too bad. And I'm also incentivized to keep this. We got all of our colors, more or less. What? Not all of our colors. Um, that's a lie. Sorry. We got a two drop into a three drop, which we can to a potential four drop. And there's our second mana. So colors are important for us. So we're playing that. Hopefully we can. Well, if we don't draw a skittering surveyor, we'll get us the land anyway. Oh, this our opponent really did draft the wizard's deck. So, and this is the worst time not to have removal. Let's see what we get. 
get okay not not quite what we wanted so okay yeah just pass the turn I can I can do this at one during my opponent's turn it's not sorcery limited and there's no point in having the land in, down right now so we're gonna take yeah we're gonna take a lot of damage nope it had it hits me so that's we're going down to 11 we will have four mana five mana doesn't quite help wait four five six we can get up to six mana maybe seven but that means I, well i can't block anyway so that doesn't matter don't forget okay nope we didn't get to that point so i play rada get two mana oh no that doesn't help us also because we can't play knight of malice we have to play Rada eventually though. And that's pretty much our only hope for getting mana, so we have to do it that way. So pass the turn. So basically it's just there to hold back the journey mage. If nothing happens, we get seven mana, we get Darigas out. We can stop the air on onslaught for a while. Not gonna happen. So he so he's gonna bounce Rada. We are incentivized now to double block with the surveyor and the scout. Or not. So there's our fifth mana. I could cast it, but it doesn't do anything. One, two, three, four. I need eight mana to just gain the life back. Hmm, this is troublesome. Hold on. Because I can play Rada. I can swing. I can swing with these guys. I can still drop a Knight of Malice. Or a Cross and Druid. I have options. Probably drop the Knight of Malice because they're both effectively the same. So, yeah, the mana holdback is correct. Send the Land Wars Scout because that one's not doing anything anymore. So, okay. He suspected the trick. There wasn't any. That was the trick, to make you think I had a trick. But now, I'm still in real trouble. If our opponent has any removal... Yeah, it's gonna kill Rada. Well... That's... But now, all these guys are larger, so... Okay, I'm gonna take four. I have to chump block. Yuck. So, this is how... Well, we did get one win off at least, but otherwise... That was really bad. Eldest Reborn is not gonna cut it. Nindris Baylot Gorger. Yeah, good game. So this is also a lesson. You you may have lots of lands, but you're not gonna hit it. We're currently at like turn six or seven. But we but we're still stuck at five mana, and. That's even with Skitting Surveyor guaranteeing one drop. So just because you have all the land, you have the potential dro land drops doesn't mean you're going to make them. So this one is a complete wash. And our opponent, well, it's okay. It's, our, there's no, it's not like the opponent has a show hand function. So that's pretty. So this one's a quick round. This one's a, this one's a quick demise. I guess I could do... Well, at least I collected some of the rewards. Yeah, let's claim... Let's claim our consolation. And it's not... I'm not gonna be cracking much. I, even, I never even got to hit, hit the vault. Ooh, I did hit another Benelis Marshal. So, you know what? We got some time... Let's just add the let's just add the quick bonus of what could we do? I kind of want to do another draft again, but we already we're already kind of one hour, a little less than one hour in. 
what, let's do let's do a little something else. Oh yeah, let's Oh yeah, let's just do a let's do a bit of a preview. So this is what so this is what I'm going to be doing next for the next episode. So it's basically showing off embalm, eternalize, pretty much zombies. That pretty mu it's pretty much all zombies, but there's one mechanic that I forgot was kind of forgotten. Well, that's why it's called forgotten. Afflict. And the reason is it doesn't show up. Oh, wait. Don't I have any of these cards? Wait a minute. That's weird. I, I should have I should have a card with Afflict. I, I know I, I definitely have the... I definitely have the, the common Kenra that has it. Yeah, there you go. Kenra Eternal. Afflict. I spell it wrong. <coughs> okay, so I probably should put in more of these guys to to showcase it, but otherwise, what I could do is I could put some red cards because that's where I flick this, or I could put some blue cards. Let's see what are the cards that have a flick. Yeah, definitely blue. Definitely black. Red is interesting. Hmm. And they're all zombies, so it's so it's pretty much legit. So yeah, I'm probably gonna tweak this to yeah. Let's let's add the yeah. Let's add the flick. No reason not to. So as much as like I like Doom Dissenter, basically it was running around this um, synergy of b binding mummy m mummy Paramount. Let's let's go all in on the zombies. So can Returnal. Anointer Priest, not so much because we're less of a token team now, so those go. Now to figure out our splash color. Yeah, let's go red. Well, probably not the Manticore Eternal. But what are the. But what's the good stuff? Well, there no, there's no green afflict cards. But what's the good stuff in red? They d they do have embalm and eternalize also. So let's actually check those out. First, let's see if I know how to spell. Oh, it's okay. That's rare, so that's a no. I know I know they have a very good one here. Yeah, let's let's use this one. Cause it's about getting damage true. So let's let's go for it. And we kind of need some removal anyway. <coughs> so let's so let's of course we could do cartouches as well. But that might be a bit overkill. So let's look for damage spells from the block. So, oh that's oh that's very easy. What what am I thinking? Here's an this is not quite this is not so much forgotten as it is something we're really going to miss. Yeah, place it of a braid. That's. We also have um. Okay, so. We also gonna miss out on exert, but I'm probably not gonna go in on the exert team here. So sun scorch. Champion goes. Angel sanction stays. Cast out stays. Plague belcher. Yeah, that one stays. Doomfall. I could kill the unconventional tactics. It's repeatable, but we're kind of a swarm we're kind of a swarm strategy now, so that one's gonna go. So this is pretty much um So this is our Amonkhet deck. It's what do you call this? Yeah, it's Mardu color, so it's Mardu zombies. Let's fix our mana base. So we might actually ditch the deserts because our mana is now so messed up at this point. So those have to go. I like the synergy with dunes, but that has to go too. So yeah, sure. So just lands. Then we'll fix it up a bit. So okay, cliff top retreats come in. Dragon skull summit comes in. I already put the ice my isolated chapels in. Wait. 
There's also Inspiring Vantage comes in. So there so white black white red red black okay. So that's so this is um pretty much what you're going to be seeing next time. It's actually mo little more red than black now. And let's double check to see we're not missing out on any zombies. I was bemoaning that the only payoff we have is Wayward Servant. We didn't have an actual Lord. And oh yeah. I could have put in blue for Scarab God, but come come on. It's not like people forgotten about it. People kinda wanna forget it. So Oh wait. There's one card that was forgotten. And the re and yeah, there you go. Confirm. Let's just So since we're dropping out of the that team, we can drop the sacred cats too. So we're spending all of these now. Now's a good time. What? Let's even put the Liliana Death's Majesty. Mm, I love what they've done to the place. <coughs> In a way, why not? So the binding mummy is probably one too many. So we're now more black than never to return is some we're also a bit short on removal, it's only just cast outs at this point. I guess we could play Never to Return. It answers planeswalkers and we don't and if we're going all Ammon Cat block, there's no Veraska. So Doomfall was my alternate was my alternate way around kind of important if you're expecting to. so in that case the binding mummy strategy is gone but the mummy paramount strategy stays can return uh... yeah I guess I guess the rest seem to be fine Let's drop one cast out so yeah, this deck is definitely a mess. Definitely unconventional. But man, I have no sideboard, so let's just give let's we'll just give it a quick run. This kind of like a preview. I don't expect this preview of things to come, I suppose. You know, yeah, me pl me playing all sorts of those experimental decks. My level's gone down the roof. I could play a lot in my off time, but literally the time you see me playing here is literally all the time I have. If I have other time, I do want to play other games too. So I'm going to keep this one since we have a shot at a third land. There we go. We got a third land. But I'm going to play the Clifftop Retreat first because I need to get... It's a shame to have a... Not, we need that Braid turn too. <clears throat> On cue. Yes. We even have, we can even just do runner runner doom falls while we're still waiting on our mana. So, we could also just play the plague belcher, but I'm just going to. See what our opponent has. He's probably gonna just counter this. Yeah. Oh, it's regular cancel. Okay. So this version of Sarkhan Vol. Probably one of the newer players in the beta. We're actually gonna be seeing a lot of really new players. So but because of the count white, the only advantage we're going to have is Okay, we're gonna just play the Mummy Paramount now. Let's put some pressure on the board. <coughs> That's perfectly fine. Because I have a bunch of other cards I don't want the removal cast on. I might speaking of cast, I'm probably gonna cast out. Not quite. 
right. Okay, fine. Another mummy paramount. Our opponent's a little bit shy on resources, so if the more we can get him to spend resources, the better. We probably would have been shy on resources too if we hit our land drops, but... That's that's kind of one way to negate the disadvantage in a sense. So... Let's see, our opponent's probably gonna drop his big... He has to have a win con somewhere. Fine. At least I can cycle again. Potential gear hulk. Okay. So he's gonna get the cancel or the cast down. Oh wait. With his timing, he has to get the cancel. There you go. So he's going for that one. Okay, so we're gonna take some damage. That's perfectly fine. Our opponent, our opponent doesn't have a shortage of cards. Problem is, if our opponent happens to have a second torrential gear hulk, we're gonna have a hard time answering any of this. Haven't we been going into any of our lands? Okay, finally got into another land. This just counters. It doesn't exile, so I, so I'm willing to, pl I'm I'm willing to cast never. Sure. So it's gonna sack to draw cards. But that's it. So next turn we can generate another creature at least. We still have one more piece of removal if we have to, but. I'm guessing our opponent's playing true control. Yeah, so we're just gonna cast the return half. Okay, not gonna cast that soon. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so let's get rid of let's get rid of that. So now we have a little board presence. Nice thing is we can just use the Plague Belcher to kill this guy. And get and and hit our opponent for one life. Minor victories. I said I was doing this as a preview. I just hope this is not gonna be a preview of things to come. Otherwise our next video is gonna be really short. I probably should prepare another deck for that eventuality. But it looks like our opponent's dumped all his good stuff already. He's I wouldn't call it scraping the bottom of the barrel. <coughs> Let's see. Liliana's. Okay, we have choices now. I want to play Liliana's Mastery so it, our zombie can get through, but he probably has a counter. I really want to see what's in his hand. I want to play Plague Belchers. It, it offs our zombie. You know, there's a way to find out. If he cash in, he's probably suspecting I might have something, but he really has to block. Okay, there's that. So I could just play Plague Belcher. That doesn't do much. Not the best use of my mana, but it's kind of. Because he's only played two actual counter spells so far. I know the deck probably has more. I can just. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna Doomfall for now. But I'm gonna. But I'm going to aim for his hand. Yep, he did have the counter spell, so it's a good thing I baited that out first. Bad news, he liked what he saw. Liked what he saw. Pressure map again, so he's probably gonna just. <coughs> so he's holding up at 4.
know what? I'm gonna cast this one. Sure, it's sure it is my removal spell, but at the very least, if he counters it, I just need one more land, and I get it back as an actual zombie. I'm gonna take action. Swing for two. It's also possible he might be out of counter spells at this point, but I'm not taking that risk. I don't I only have two copies of this. Interestingly, I might want to play the pig I might actually want to play the plague belcher first. Or not. They're about to trade anyway, so it's kinda okay. So our opponent's just basically sculpting his hand now. He really likes what he's seeing. <clears throat> he needs expertise. He's probably got... Oh! Interesting. Not efficient. But that's two cards out of his hand. I can't complain. So next turn, let's see what he does. So he probably has something he can draw into. So it's six, three, so. I'm gonna play that Dorn Pouncer first. Let's see if he counters that. I'm gonna play the Plague Belcher. Let's see if he counters that. Okay, so he's gonna draw into his counter spell. Could be syncopate. <coughs> actually, actually, it just could it could just be straight up removal. That's actually kind of fine since I can just eternalize this guy. My life total is not in any real danger yet. So I have, at least I have extra cards in virtually extra cards in hand. Now that I think of it, Neheb might, as nice as it is as a mythic, it probably doesn't really do anything for it then. Kitesel Freebooter, he's going to... Okay, he's definitely gonna take that. I could take it back. But I kinda wanna deal with the ground first, so I'm gonna just do the Adorn Pouncer first. cards let's leave siphon <coughs> so I guess I could safely just a I could safely take get rid of the kite cell free booter with angel let's see what I get on off the top more land so this gives me Let's put an actual threat on the board though. Something he has to respect. Besides, I can just use this guy next turn. So, I'll take 3 damage from these guys. I'll be able to block Omen Speaker at least. Angel Sanctions can just take one of the can take his tank to take one of these guys later. Opponent didn't scry first, so probably expect probably need something at six mana. He might have an, his other torrential gear hulk at that point. So I'm 
gonna take three for sure. I think I miss. There is one more mechanic that I that I really forgot. It it wasn't the named mechanic though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm, nope, that combo is not quite worth it. You know what? Let's attack first. Angel sanctions, but it's probably just gonna. If he has some way to kill it, it's just gonna take it back. I'm gonna buy some time, use the binding mummy first. <coughs> if any, it makes our opponents. If any, it's a little bit more set up. It's really a game of patience at this point, especially if your opponent has virtually more resources than you. Yep, our opponent's gonna have a full grip at this point. It's just looking for the kill spells. Probably the... Maybe it doesn't have the trench. Oh, the last is So at least it's not a torrential gear hulk. And it's a good thing too I didn't just play, play the ancient Angel of Sanctions off the bat. Because I want to actually be able to cast Liliana's Mastery. <coughs> so I'm literally just buying time. Going to attack with it, there's no point holding it back. So it's just a so it's just a quick glimpse. De definite but we definitely learned of a bunch of things already about this one. Like one, our creatures are quite squishy. Two, we have a bunch of creatures with keywords but don't exactly do anything. I probably am going to put the egg. I'm probably gonna put the X to cast some Torment of Hailfire spell. Sure, it wouldn't it wouldn't do much against our opponent in this case, but one, it's a sink for all the red mana you're going to get. Two, it kind. Two, it would at least drain most of his hand and some of, and some of his life. Yeah, so definitely gonna put that in. Besides, all those wild cards and nothing to do with it. <coughs> Kite Sail Freebooter to take my virtually empty hand. He probably has a count. Oh, he's just em he's just emptying it out. gonna get this card back okay yeah that's, you know just target everything here just, just to avoid the confusion probably gonna one of these abilities is probably gonna get countered or this guy's just gonna die yep so that's pretty much it Yeah, he's probably gonna take the damage. Not too much. So maybe Ingo Ketra's name is a bit of overkill for this deck. Something I need to consider if I do build a sideboard, but I'm only gonna take these things out to, to quick construct it anyway. Yep, good game. That is pretty much the perfect time to say good game, I guess, in my opinion. 
silence is better, but that I I'm guessing that's probably the problem with the system right now. Your communication is very limited, so you don't have any way of saying I'm I'm all out what and whatnot. So, anyways, but but anyway, that's it. So that was our competitive draft, and that's a little bit of a sneak preview. So. If you like what you see, please um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Pretty much um, after after this video and the Ammon Cat and the Ammon Cat retrospective video, I'm gonna be taking a bit of. I might take a break for about a week's. Uh, it might take me a while to upload some more stuff, but I'll have some videos ready by the time we get into open beta. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you guys again next time.